Yo, what up street dogs there? Kim, I'm reporting live from Phnom Penh, Cambodia. So the turbo that I have is... Uh, why travel? The philosophy of traveling, why is it so important and so forth. So first and foremost, you get to know a city so much better by walking around everywhere that you go. And the great thing with traveling or being abroad or living abroad and so forth is that it really broadens and expands and opens your mind. Now, the philosophy of being closed-minded versus open-minded, this is an interesting one. I think there are certain things we should be closed-minded towards like racism, uh, unjust matters and stuff like that. However, it does seem that you know, I think being open-minded is still the superior path because a lot of people who become open-minded, uh, closed-minded, they essentially kind of limit themselves. And I like the idea that your mind, your body, your soul could become unlimited. And what typically limits us, at least I, I know for uh, speaking as Americans, is that we are limited by thinking that the news is real and a lot of what we experience and see in the news and social media and stuff like that, it kind of offers you a distorted view of reality. So for me, I want the most accurate view of society technology. Look at that. Everyone has a Lexus SUV here, Porsches and stuff like that. Um, Lexus SUVs and so for example like um, you know being here in Phnom Penh right like I think Phnom Penh is super slept on like people don't really talk about it so much and to me it actually might be one of my new favorite cities um, I ask people about Phnom Penh their opinions and stuff like that nobody really gave me any useful things and so going to somewhere by yourself is one of the best ways that you could actually understand it um, and also, I know for myself, I'm just happier when I'm just traveling. I'm on the road, look, 85 degrees here. Um, also, one thing I like about being in Southeast Asia, especially places like uh, Cambodia, Vietnam, is that there's so much upwards growth, which is actually incredibly optimistic towards the future. Whereas being back stateside, I feel like it feels already tapped out. I mean, even the last big boom in America was probably like this SF Bay Area tech boom scene, but it looks like that's kind of slowed down. So a life in a world in which there is no more upward growth, to me is a depressing one. And this is why I realized about capitalism, global capitalism, etc., is that it's predicated on optimism of growth, future growth. I mean, why would these companies create these huge mega skyscrapers or condos or hotels? The hope that it's going to manifest in a positive way. So I know for myself speaking, um, being on the road and traveling and you know exploring new places, it really kind of uh, gives me a lot more hope and optimism. And hope and optimism, you know, people say it's naive, but I would actually say to not be optimistic, to be pessimistic, it's actually a sign of weakness. It's a sign of weakness, the lack of courage. Um, and to somebody who's never traveled before and been abroad, doesn't even have a passport, their opinions on world affairs is just going to be a rehash of what's on the, the mainstream news. Even though well, I've realized that I don't like to so much trap myself in limited modes of thinking, uh, whether liberalism, conservatism, whatever. Everyone's a little bit your own unique what of thinking is much more nuanced and interesting. So traveling for me ultimately is a way to expand your mind. Uh, it's a way to be happier, more active. I mean, even living here, being in Asia, life in Asia is actually much more fun and dynamic and interesting than it is back in the States. The States are stuck, you're in the States, you're stuck in a, a car all day, which is very uh, boring and um, basic here. Everything is brand new. Everything's on the up and up. Um, I know that I'm much more creative when it comes to blogging, to vlogging and thinking about different modes. And also, um, a lot of people often are afraid of traveling because things are not going to be the way they like them to be. But actually, that's what gives you, awakens your inner genius. By in fact, having things which are not the way you're used to it be will actually awaken your mind, help you to become more scrappy, more innovative. 
So ultimately, traveling is good for innovation, opening up your mind, and becoming more.